So up front here we've got some boards with places for kids' art and where you got your food from and what's your favorite local food and maybe what you're growing in your backyard. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, I just gotta remind you folks, there's lots of food out here. Please come on in, mix, meet, eat. Ask the people where their food came from, enjoy it. And for about the next 20 or 30 minutes, we are going to be entertained with a fantastic magician by the name of Ben Caesar. So Party of Canada, and I'm very proud to throw my support behind Ben Polly in the Ontario provincial election for the riding of wealth. Ben would make a spectacular MPP. He's hardworking, he knows what he's talking about from the grassroots up, from building his own straw bale houses to understanding energy efficiency to being an outstanding member of this community. He and his wife are very involved in a range of issues and he can bring political experience based on community values to Queen's Park and that's what we need. I can't think of a better person to make the first MPP uh, at Queen's Park than Ben Foley. <laughs> Did you try the tomato uh, tomato pie? Taking turns, and I think that's all something we have to learn. We start in kindergarten, but we're still learning to take turns. And the next turn is the Green Party. It's our turn to run things because everybody else has screwed it up. So just remember that when you're out there working on it. Taking turns. Thanks, folks. My name is Martin Levy Twa. Uh, I'm riding in Wel Wellington Halton Hills, which is the massive expanse of a riding around well. Why I'm running, I guess I wanted to get involved. I live in Rockwood, I wanted to get involved in a riding where I live and we'll be voting. And they said, how involved do you want to get? And I said, well, <laughs> let, me, let me look into it. I saw Ben Pauly in 2003 do a debate in town here. And it was the first time that I heard anyone talking about things that meant something to me, that were connecting with me, and that actually mobilized me to go out and vote for the first time ever. So Woo! since then, okay. But uh, one of the first things I want to do is to reach out to people, get them back into the democratic process, get them interested in the things that are happening, get them voting. 30% of the people right now wouldn't be voting if the Green Party wasn't on the, on the, uh, on the bill, so. Right. Hey folks, a green hero right there. Martin, thank you so much from all of us. Thank you for stepping forward because we need you. Thank you very much. If we had walkable communities linked by transit, we would get out of our cars and have a lot more obesity, a lot less obesity. Uh, our obesity epidemic would be reduced. We have a long way to go to get to once again to a healthcare system that keeps us healthy. In fact, we need a, a healthcare system rather than a sickness care system. So we have to do everything in our power now. Elect Ben Pulley, elect Elizabeth May, and even elect Frank Young. <laughs> Because, because if we don't elect the Green Party, we'll elect one of the other parties and we've seen what a kind of a mess they make of it. Give us a chance to make a mess of things as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. We want to make sure that we have policies that fight those things that are blights on beautiful cities like Guelph, like urban sprawl and bad land use planning, and a failure to act to protect our aquifers against bottled water greed. You want to act on those things, you better vote.